right, you're looking at the daily chart of the Bitcoin, and I've been saying for a very long time now that I believe Bitcoin, uh, excuse me, Bitcoin is following the wick off method, uh, and I believe that we are still working on the end of phase C. We're not yet in phase D, okay? So we have the spring here, the test here, and now we're just lingering. We have the support here, this white line on 32.6, and we it set it up right here for us support we had some touches here and there but it wasn't as good as this one it wasn't as perfect they moved it up they moved it up to this resistant level right here and they brung it down and right here i would say that's an area of liquidity i've been talking about this a lot areas of liquidity is when the market makers take out the stop loss of retail traders retail traders they have a habit of uh, entering at support level when they're biased to the upside that's what we were taught taught for a very long time so if we're entering that support where will we set our stop loss we usually set it below the structure of the support and resistant level so areas of liquidity are above resistant levels and below support level this is why i have these green area which is a bearish area uh bullish area of liquidity and the red area is the bearish area of liquidity where the market makers could fake us out and then send it back down or fake us out down here and send it back up okay so we got bitcoin in this triangle pattern and we are at fake out territory okay what i mean by fake out territory is they'll you'll get a false breakdown or you might get a false breakout and then they'll trick you okay so we got this support line here and then they'll resist it okay getting very tight in there so bitcoin has gonna is, has got to make a decision very very soon and where is bitcoin at bitcoin bounced right off of our support level and what do i always tell you guys you do not you do not get bearish at support at support you do not look to sell you look to buy granted you don't want to buy at support you want to buy in the areas of liquidity because that's where the market makers are entering. But if you do that trading style or that trading strategy, you're gonna, you know, cut down on your trading opportunities. But hey, quality over quantity, you guys can do what you want. That's just what I'm thinking. Okay? So it's getting tight in there. Also, I wanna bring up something for you guys. I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna remove all these drawings. I'm gonna bring up the 20 day moving average very tight you see how the Bollinger Bollinger bands are squeezing very tight now if we scroll back I'll scroll back for you guys the last time the Bollinger band squeezed this tight the last time it squeezed that tight was here boom okay that was way back in December of 2020 that's the last time that Bitcoin squeeze that tight now every time bitcoin squeezes squeeze there it, it it moves doesn't always mean it moves to the upside guys here's another squeeze there's another squeeze that sent it to the downside you guys get the picture right but last time bitcoin had a squeeze like that was over here okay so bitcoin squeezing again could we start heading lower or could we be heading up after the squeeze? I am biased to the bull side. I'm biased to the upside, guys. I'm, I'm, I believe in Bitcoin. I believe that it's the future. Apparently, I'm not the only one. Now, let's go to my Discord. This is my Discord. And I shared this with my members. The miners, the Bitcoin miners, have been accumulating for the past month. Okay? They, they sold here. And then, every, like, ever since in June that's around we had the spring they've been accumulating they're increasing up now the blue line is the bitcoin miner and this gray line is the bitcoin price that's bitcoin price looking choppy and ugly right but they've been accumulating guys lots and lots of money are being are, are going in people are buying guys okay we got kathy woods buying got a bunch of people buying i'm using the free version Okay, we got a lot of people buying into Bitcoin, a lot of whales. Whales are buying it up. If you watch my weekend update, uh, I'll post the link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out. But I covered how the whales are starting to buy more and I went over some charts and data. Okay, definitely check that out. Now moving on to Adam. Now Adam, 
I believe is also following the wick off. Now, Bitcoin, as you can see, is trading below the 20 day moving average. However, Adam, if I bring up the moving average, is trading above the 20 day moving average. So it's showing more strength than Bitcoin. As, as a matter of fact, it's still trading above the 50 day moving average. That's where it's bouncing at currently. Okay? I believe uh, Adam, oh, I'm touching the area of liquidity here. The, the atom is at the last point of supply, which is in phase D. So it's even further ahead than Bitcoin. It's in the further phase where I'm very bullish at and it's above a higher moving average than Bitcoin. So right now, surprisingly, atom is leading. Okay, so I'm very bullish on atom. I believe that it's following the wick off accumulation. Shouldn't be heading to SOS next. Okay, and that is assuming that our support levels hold. And if it does drop, we have this area of liquidity here where market makers could look to fake us out. They purposely set up these support levels. So they want to fake us out. We'll see what happens. Okay. Overall, bottom line, I am bullish on Adam and uh, Bitcoin to the moon. Cryptocurrency is the future. I hope this technical analysis was able to help you guys. Good luck and continue to beat this market.